Hi friends, I hope all of you are safe at your homes during this lockdown. Please respect it, cooperate both with your local governments, state governments and the central government and let us all do our part so that this coronavirus spread is controlled. I hope everybody is safe. It's extremely important for us to be safe. We have shut down our office from the March 4th. We've asked all of our employees to work from home. This is almost like 20 days. We are almost 20 days into it, 20, almost 25 days into it. So we are going through it and uh, thankfully all of our employees are safe. I hope all of our students are also safe. So for the last few days, we have been thinking about how to utilize this time for the benefit of our students. And we have brainstormed multiple ideas, but one thing that we converged on, again, I've written my notes here so that I don't miss anything, is to do more regular live sessions because anyway, most of our students who are either college students or working professionals, everybody is at home now. So starting this Monday, again, uh, today is a Saturday when I, as I'm recording this, we have a live session on Sunday, a public live session on the overview of AI. But starting Monday, we'll start doing more regular live sessions from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Two hour live sessions and we'll try to do at least five, five live sessions a week. Again, I've cho we, have, we have chosen the evening time because that's when the lockdown becomes more severe. A lot of local governments and state governments have been asking people not to go out after a certain time in the evening. Mornings, I understand that some of you may be busy getting your groceries, getting your essential needs, medication, etc. So we thought the best time would be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So we'll be doing regular live sessions from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. starting this Monday. And we'll do it uh, for, for at least a few weeks during this lockdown, right? So we'll try to do at least five live sessions a week. So this is going to be a lot of live sessions. Then we thought, what would be a good topic for these live sessions? We might do 10, maybe even 15 live sessions during this lockdown period, right? So we, we were brainstorming on multiple ideas. One thing that, that was most popular amongst our whole team was to do live sessions on code walkthroughs. So we, we have some students who don't have programming background, some students who are not very good with programming or comfortable with programming, right? And they're facing some issues when they're trying to code up things. So what we thought of is let's use this lockdown period constructively to help our students improve their programming skills. So during this, during this next 15 or so days of official lockdown, we don't have the lockdown might extend, nobody knows, right? But we'll try to do our best, right? So during this lockdown, at least officially, it's still April 15th, which means we have a couple of weeks. And we'll try to do 10 to 12, as many as we can actually, we'll try to do 10 to 12 live sessions. And our focus will be code walkthroughs. So what do I mean? Again, I'm just, I'm just, I just, I just written a note so that I don't miss any important point here. In the code walkthrough, we will start from the very first chapter we have, which is Python programming. We'll start with simple concepts like for loops in Python, functions in Python, how to call, again, simple standard libraries like NumPy, SciPy, Pandas. We'll start with that and we'll go up to deep learning. So for each of these cases, what we'll do is we'll go through code line by line. I'll explain each of the functions, each of the operations, each of the parameters of every line of code so that there is less dilemma, especially for students who don't come from non, uh, who come from non-programming backgrounds can also easily understand and pick it up, right? So we'll do it very similar to the way we explained Python code in our course videos. But we'll do it now for, for, for again, for, for the Python chapter itself, we'll focus, I'll take a bunch of problems, like simple problems, very simple, straightforward problems. And I'll explain how to think about solving these problems step by step, how to break a complex problem into sub problems and how to write code for each of these. Also, again, this will be a code walkthrough. This is not like giving high level overview of the code. It will be line by line walkthrough of the code, number one. I'll also point at typical mistakes that we see students doing in the assignments so that you can learn what are the common errors you will encounter, how to get out of that error, how to Google search efficiently to fix the bugs in your code, right? So I'll also cover all of that. So we'll start with Python this coming Monday. We'll start with simple for loops, simple programs. Like how do you, how do you do basic operations in NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, We'll start with basic Python, most important libraries in Python, but we'll also graduate and move towards core machine learning algorithms. For example, how do you do, uh, I'll go walk through how do you, how do you implement k-fold cross-validation, right? 
and other other interesting and important concepts so what we have so this will be additional content to what we have done already in the course right so we are calling these sessions code walkthrough sessions where we'll go line by line explain it and the live sessions are also a great way for you to ask questions in an interactive fashion we'll try to resolve as many questions as possible in a two hour live session whatever we cannot resolve we can always shoot an email and we'll try to answer that right so these live sessions will be accessible to all of our registered students again every day uh, suppose suppose today let's assume we have a live session let's say on tuesday we have a live session i'll announce on monday what is the topic of the live session what all topics you should go through in the course videos what all code snippets you have to go through in the course videos so that you come prepared for the live session right so we'll start of course for the very first live session which will be on monday it will be basics of python i expect that you go through all the python videos and the python code snippets that we have discussed in the live session we'll start with some simple problems we could spend a couple of days just on python problems so that you become more comfortable with the fundamentals and foundations of python programming itself and then we'll we, we could spend if not two days maybe three days one day just for numpy scipy pandas type of operations and then we'll slowly move on to more complex things like uh, proper machine learning models and if time permits we'll go up to deep learning we'll also see how to do proper again we have explained some of this in the course videos this will be in addition to what is there in the course videos right so for example we have explained how to do transfer learning using convolution neural networks in the cnn chapter in our course videos we'll do one more example where we'll go through code line by line slowly step by step if it takes more time so be it it's okay because we're going to do regular live sessions i mean every if you're doing five or more live sessions a week we don't have to be in a rush or a hurry to finish anything like a typical live session where the live session is on a weekly basis now if we have more time we'll try to cover as much as possible but the whole objective is very clear the objective is to ensure that our students during this lockdown period use this time constructively to be become better programmers at the end of the day who can who can implement machine learning models who can use machine learning libraries and also write simple python code effectively and efficiently and how to get unstuck again a lot of students send us emails saying okay i got stuck at this snippet of code how do i debug it how do i fix it of course we help them over email but we thought this type of session can broadly help everyone not just a few set of students right so what we'll do is every day uh, for every live session the previous day we'll announce the topic of the live session again students who in the earlier sections can participate in some of them they may not be able to understand keras they may not be able to understand convolutional neural networks etc but students who are in the later parts can attend all of them and of course all of these will be accessible even after the live session is over for all of our registered students via our desktop app so in case you miss one of these live sessions it's okay you can watch it before the next day's live session right but please try to participate so then we can so that we can have some interesting back and forth discussion so that it's it's much more fun it's 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 a group activity that all of us are doing and we can have some questions back and forth i'll try to answer as many as possible also i request you to give us some suggestions on what areas you want to you want us to cover more in these live sessions again the focus is very important the focus is to help you become better programmers so we'll do code walkthroughs and also i'll teach you how to solve how to given a real world given a problem it could be a simple python programming for loop given a problem how do you break it up into sub parts and how do you solve each of those parts step by step and how to get unstuck if you get an error or a bug right those are the key th those are key skills for a programmer that will help you solve many many problems as you build more complex machine learning models also so any suggestions you have any concrete constructive suggestions to to make these code walkthroughs better do let us know but we will try and be very very careful go step by step line by line operator by operator parameter by parameter in every function so that you get a good concrete understanding of course we'll do more uh, more step by step walkthroughs in the earlier parts but suppose if you've learned about some basic stuff if i'm re if i'm reusing that operation or if i'm reusing that functionality again in a later live session i would assume that you've gone through the previous live session live sessions right so please try to attend all of them anyway it's a lockdown time so let's make the most out of it and be and become better programmers by the end of it right so so again please suggest us anything that you want us to cover specifically we'll do our best but we'll start from basics of python and we'll graduate as per our course syllabus we'll start with python numpy pandas uh, exploratory data analysis simple plotting then we'll we'll keep going then scikit learn right then we'll learn uh, xgboost so we'll go step by step finally we'll also do some coding in keras keras tensorflow 
right? So let's go step by step, but it will be code, deep dive code walkthroughs, right? So let's let's do that. Looking forward to having all of you attend these sessions and make the most of our most out of our lockdown period, constructively improving ourselves. Again, please make sure that you, your family, your friends, everybody is safe. Let us do our part in in controlling the spread of this virus by being safe ourselves and keeping our fellow citizens also safe right see you folks let's hope you all attend and make again I'll, I'll do daily announcements of what the next live session would be this is a broad announcement right so for monday for sure it's very clear we'll be doing the basics of python anyway i'll do a more detailed so i'll do a more detailed announcement but for monday live session from 6 pm to 8 pm i'm going to assume that you have gone through all the python course videos right so that we can do some simple problem solving in python right so i'll try to cover 10 or 20 problems over over a couple of live sessions so that you become better at basic problem solving with code right so see you again and uh, hope to have active participation from all of you again we'll keep you informed about the topic of the live session what to prepare what to know before you come to the live session we'll send you emails over your registered email we'll also make announcements on youtube we'll post it on the official slack group we'll also put it on facebook so if if you're looking at any of them you know what what comes next in each in each of these live sessions right so let's do that